Hey guys, it's Feling. So today I'm gonna be going to Jumanji John's house uh, to pick up a plant that I just purchased from him. And I'm gonna ask him to see if I could just kind of uh, give you guys a little tour of like all the beautiful plants he has and also his amazing greenhouse. So I can't wait to show you guys what um, his place actually looks like. It's so fun to go and just basically look at everything. But yeah, let's go. All right, I'm here at John's. Jumanji John's uh, jungle. So this is the uh, plant section he has in his garage, which he has a lot of his beautiful imports and a lot of rare plants in here. It's so amazing here. Let me see. Yeah, I came here to buy a uh, Monstera Bromark's Flame. Where's, I, oh, I think he took he took it already. He's gonna help me pack it up. But look at these beautiful. Still, you know, I still, I will always have a place in my heart for, what is it, the Tycons and also just Monster Owls. So these are Tycons, but they are just so beautiful to me. They will be forever my my first uh, exotic plant. They have some Addisonii variegated. Which one are these owls? No, these, I know these are mints. Florida Beauties variegated money tree. Yeah, so these are the Burl Marks Flame. So these are the large ones that he has. So pretty. I'm so excited I'm finally picking up this plant for myself just because it has been on my wish plant for about two years. But I just love how thin the leaves are and how the variegation is. And just it kind of looks like a skeleton rib to me, which I love. <laughs> Let's see. Just gonna give you some quick review or a quick preview before we go back into his backyard um, to his greenhouse. Beautiful strawberry shakes right here. Oops. So pretty. More tycons. Let's see. Oh, look at these guys. He got. Uh, he also got a bunch of variegated tetraspermas. So yeah, he said that he accidentally did leave some of these plants out for one night last night. So some might have crispy edges, but they are so still beautiful to me. Oh my gosh. Definitely going to be, well, definitely also one of my wish plants. And I actually just bought a node of it. So hopefully mine was going to come out beautiful like those. Let's see what else. Some of these other beautiful monster albums, and I see a variegated ZZ, and he has an anthurium section right here, and he has also a lot of bunch of babies down there. All right, so let's go ahead and go check out his greenhouse. What's up, everyone? <laughs> Let me show you the greenhouse. Failing's here. We're gonna head on into my jungle. It's a mess. It's a literal jungle. Leftover. Oh, Torto is in there catching oh. mice. Hey, Torto. Come on in. Poppy's in here too. Yeah, I love coming to John's house and just visiting his jungle. It's just so amazing here. I can tell they're getting thirsty. Yeah, it is. Well, it's like what, 60 degrees outside, and then it's literally it's hot where so you're hot at. and humid in here. Let me see. It's it's almost 80, it's 76. Yeah, it's freaking hot in here. Nice and humid just for the plants. Yeah, and it's freezing outside, but yeah, everything left right now is basically a bunch of mother plants that I've had over the years that have just been here forever. Dude, I haven't been here for half, like I would say half a year, and his monster Tycon right here is insane. Oh, look at this leaf. Where? Let me see. That's probably one of the biggest ones, that one right there. My goodness. I know this guy grew so much since the last huge, time I've been here. Huge leaf. Oof. One day, hopefully, my tycon, my tycon is still a two-leafer. I planted this Aurea <laughs> large leaf and the mint in the same pot. Oh, so there's, really? There's two in there. Yeah, here's the Aurea and uh -huh. the mint. Oh. They're, they're kind of separate if I want to pull them out, but I just oh, put yeah, them in yeah, there. Yeah. But yeah. Dang. But yeah. It's a mess. So yeah, I was everywhere. I was talking to John. I was like, so is this your pri uh, private collection or, you know, like, what do you consider this? He says this is mostly like, what, your mother plants? But, you know, if you guys like something in here, just give them a holler. Yep. <laughs> and we, they can, you guys can talk. I've been 
chopping it forever, but just wait till springtime and all the new growth points take yeah. off, and it's going to look awesome. So yeah, right, right now, now it's winter time. exactly. Right now it's winter time. Everything is, you know, basically slow growing, mm -hmm. dropping leaves occasionally. Ooh, here's a fiddle leaf fig. Another one high. I didn't even know I have this one. Nice. Oh, the variegated fiddle leaf. Yeah, this is from Next World Exotics. It's still in the pot. Can't believe it's still alive. <laughs> I know your big one is amazing too. Yep. Oh yeah, I gotta show you guys this one. He has a variegated booby plant. Oh my goodness, look at this one. Oh yeah, boobies. Yeah. Okay, so while he's kind of figuring out his greenhouse, I'm just gonna walk around, show you guys a little bit more. But yeah, Jumanji jungles, jungle, pretty much. There. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Oof. And everything is so amazing here. Everything's so full and lush, especially in winter. Hi, Torta. Oh, hi. You want to be on film? Yeah. Want to say hi to people on YouTube? All right, let's see what else. Beautiful Monstera album right here, and also Varicosum. Oh man, look at the variegation on this uh, this leaf of a Tycon. That is so pretty. Just, man, I can't believe how massive his his leaves are. That's so crazy. What are you looking at, Torta? Hey. Okay, let's go to the other side. You want to go outside? Okay. Oh. Oh yeah, they do. Yeah, that one was. That one's Poppy. Torta Poppy. Hang out. Torta wants to hang out. Okay, let's come on, on this, this side. This side, family, we have this giant Jose. Like I said, just walk through it. Really I know. Cool. Oh, that is so pretty. I had a cool. I can't believe how big now. this is. I've I don't even remember this plant being here last time Originally, I was here. Originally, this big old plant came from Jax's jungle. Uh huh. When I bought it, it was probably like right here, but it's grown massive. Odd. It's freaking massive. Yeah, it definitely gives it the very like jungle vibe in here, which I absolutely love. It's like I you're love. literally walking through a rainforest right now because you have to like part the leaves. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And I don't mind these ones. Come on through. Yeah, I don't want to hurt your leaves. They're so they're too beautiful. I don't want to rip it or anything. So heavy. I've had it tied up twice. So there's a rope here and a rope there. Mm -hmm. Pushing it back that way. Yeah. I wonder if you're gonna need to chop this probably I like know, later, I huh? Am. I am gonna need to chop it soon. Uh, it's so beautiful to chop though. There's one or two more leaves, and I'll probably have to chop it. Yeah. A lot of stuff is smashing the ceiling. <laughs> Look at all these. Basics and stuff up. Ooh, look at that. Look at his variegated fiddle leaf fig. Look at one of the newer leaves. I know these guys are so hard to keep. Like, especially oh, they, yeah, they brown yeah. really easily. I've killed more than I've had stay alive. Really? Yeah. I, I thought this had... was your only one. I thought you only had a few. I've had maybe 10 or 15 of my life, maybe more, but I've killed oh, shoot. most of them. That's but they sure. are beautiful. This was supposedly, oh, it is getting fenestrations. I could see them starting underneath. It will start. Uh, it's sold to me before everyone started calling it Epi Flame. It was sold to me as Epi Aurea. Oh. And then they spiced it up and started calling it Epi Flame. Uh huh. But this is a, just a low color Epi Flame. <laughs> it's finally starting yeah, to I run. Yeah, I can see the host Little starting up. Yep. Yeah, so it's not Apothos. Which, same family, but it's yeah. not, you know, golden poplar. No, it's definitely a lot fancier, but look, look, the little holes, fenestrations are coming in. Finally starting. Mm -hmm. It only took four years. A lot of elbows here, some goniums, and a lot of varicosum. Yep. Down there. Most of these elbows are what's left over from Japan from, like, years ago. I used to get most of my elbows from Japan, mm -hmm. and that's what most of these are. But they've been here for years, sitting in these pots cuttings for days oh you're just doing cuttings to sell oh i'll sell the entire tray if someone wants to come up I'll, I'll sell you like this tub of elbows <laughs> or this tub of elbows but mainly i just take cuttings off all of them yeah 
I know those ones have really great uh, great variegation. It's pretty consistent too. Yeah, I right? just chopped them all right now. So what's left is a lot of the older leaves. But wait till springtime and mm -hmm. they'll take off again and they'll hit the ceiling and I'll chop yeah, them I remember. All I remember they were amazing last summer. Oh, is that a mint? This is a mint, right? Yeah, I actually that's the plant that uh, my friend came the other day and bought, Jamie. Oh. She got the top off that one. That's the, there was a mint back there and it looked just like this. But here's that leaf. Yeah, look at that leaf on this. Oh, almost elbow, and then here's the newest one. I know. I saw this leaf from from afar, and I was like, "Wow, that thing is amazing." And I have it air layered right now. I've taken a cutting off the top already, and that's the one on the other side. Uh huh. But look at the variegation in the stem. Oh yeah, look at that. That is so good. All right, let's go. Thank you. All right, so I'm back from Jumanji John's house and here's the baby that I bought. This is a Monstera. Um, Bro Marks Flame. So it's super cute. And then look at the roots. Nice, healthy roots. Oops, let me see if I get a closer look. So I'm super excited about this plant. This plant has been on my wish list for, I would say, about two years now. Um, but yeah, they were super like crazy expensive about maybe like two years ago. The price has started to calm down. Um, so I'm very excited that I finally got my hands on it. So I definitely cannot wait. Um, to kind of you know get it acclimated and basically pot him up and then see the fenestration come out of these guys but yeah I'm gonna put it pretty much leave it in this jar um, until it grows a little bit more roots and I'm gonna put it in my prop box um, very high humidity so I'm trying to give it the best condition that it can get <laughs> during winter right now okay so I also got plant mail so um, I did order this I think maybe around New Year's and this is from uh, I don't want to show my address but this is from Jenny Sprouts uh, I bought uh, it was like a purge on like Facebook group so I was able to kind of pick up some plants the thing is with this um, it was actually delivered well it was delivered I think on a Wednesday and I did not realize it was delivered so it was left out on my porch until Saturday and the temperature did kind of drop to like maybe like 55 degrees so hopefully it's okay so I don't want to wait any longer um, and I'm gonna open it up for you guys so let me go and change my camera angle hard to kind of open this when I'm trying to cover my address. Maybe I should have taped it up already. There we go. Alright. Very nice packaging. I think this is one of the plants. Oh, how cute. This is actually like a... Well, they have my name on here, but I'm pretty sure this is this is a uh, standard, but a big leafy welcome to the Jenny Sprouts family. Your pet pals have embarked. This is super cute. Okay, so it's basically just telling me to how to open this and how is it packaged and everything. So that's actually really cool. And it's telling me to very carefully unwrap these. <laughs> okay, let's see. So must be careful. Let's go ahead and start with this guy. Oh yeah, this is my dubia. Monstera dubia. Ooh, oh my goodness. Okay, so I got a little crinkled on top, but that's okay. Nothing is broken. Mm, the leaf that's trying to emerge, there's a little bit of browning right here, but like I said, her package her packaging is very good i think it's just my fault for maybe leaving it out on my porch for a little bit too long but it doesn't look too bad this guy is just a, got a little bent and it's i think it's a new leaf but dang look at how big this leaf is right here 
So it's already sizing up. Very, very pretty. You know what, let me fully take it out so we can marvel at this beauty together. All right, so this is the Dubia. I didn't realize how shiny the silver marking uh, are in person. That is so nice. And I have definitely seen like the mature version where they start to fenestrate and I think they start to lose their silver marking, which I'm a little sad about just because I love the marking on this. Let me take it a closer look. I can't, I don't know if you guys can tell, like it's actually like shimmering in the light. Cute, I'm so excited for this guy. All right, that's one. Okay, the second plant. I feel like it's just a pot of clouds. <laughs> oh, gorgeous. So cute. I wonder if there's more than one plant in here. Okay, well, there's a lot of baby leaves on the bottom. I think so, because I feel like this is a brand new leaf that emerged. So there could be another plant in here. But yeah, look at this leaf, so pretty. And I can't wait that when they get more mature, this little, I guess the the little crevice right here, it definitely like widens up. And then the veining gets darker and then the leaves becomes more silver. Oh, I'm so happy about this, super cute. And then the last plant, what did I buy? Cause honestly, it's been a while, I don't really remember. Oh my goodness, wow. Holy crap. Whoa. Okay. So this is a philodendron um, Sodoroy. Yeah. I decided to buy from her because she was her plants was showing a lot of like leaves that had variegation on it. Sadly, I didn't get one that has a lot of variegation, but I do see one leaf with the variegation. But then like some people were saying like they always, like all of them have it. But look at this, look at this one. Do you guys see that yellow marking? So yeah, I don't know if that is like a variegation on these on this plant, like a spore variegation. But yeah, I, I took a chance and then you know I bought it from her, hoping that maybe it could turn into something definitely, you know, even more beautiful. But if you guys have a Sodoroy um, that also had the variegation, maybe it faded as it matured, let me know. So yeah, I do notice that her pot. Um, it's like multiple plants. So this is a first uh, plant or first sorority for me. And the ones I've seen online, um, people grow it up on a moss pole and the leaves get really big. But I mostly only see like maybe like one stem. But this guy, I'm a bit confused because if you do take a look at this, it's already one stem right here, but you see how there's like three different bundles that's coming off of this root? Is it like one stem is gonna be equal to like one of those big ones like if I get it to mature? Or did I buy like a mini version? What is it? So I don't know. I'm a little bit confused. But nonetheless, it is still very beautiful. Um, some leaves kind of got crinkled, but like I said, it just probably needs a little bit of TLC and then it'll bounce back. So pretty, I'm so excited for this one. All right guys, so I think that's it for today's video. Thank you for coming along with me on my uh, adventures today and also for my unboxing of my three new babies. Oh wait, let's not forget. Oh, I'm so happy for this one. My Monstera uh, Bro Marks Flame. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.